The science of reading. The science of reading is everything that is scientifically known about reading, including how it should be taught. When a curriculum says that it follows the science of reading, it should mean that instruction is evidence based and founded upon research. The science of reading is much more than just phonics. Phonics is only one component among many that must be taught to children learning to read. In fact, phonics on its own won't be enough. The first step is phonological awareness. The next step is to guide the child through the process of the mechanics of reading, helping them to learn sound letter correspondences, decoding, synthesizing, morphology, then advancing to word recognition, practicing fluency, learning vocabulary, all the time working on spelling and comprehension. Orton Gillingham and Structured Literacy Orton Gillingham, or OG, was the first teaching approach specifically designed to help struggling readers by explicitly teaching the connections between letters and sounds. It has been used to teach children with dyslexia since the 1930s and underpins today's science-based methodology. The OG approach is systematic, structured, cumulative and prescriptive. OG breaks language down into the smallest parts and makes sure that children have an understanding. Then it shows them how to build the sounds back up again into words. Children move from one step to the next as they master each level of language skills. The OG approach and science of reading methodology is now referred to as structured literacy by the International Dyslexia Association, IDA. Structured literacy means evidence-based programs and approaches that are aligned to the IDA knowledge and practice standards. Structured Synthetic Phonics, SSP. Synthetic phonics is a way of teaching children to read and spell. It is structured literacy, research proven by the science of reading. It's widely regarded as the most successful approach to the teaching of reading and spelling. Starting with phonemes, learning is structured and systematic, building up phonic knowledge in small steps. There is no guessing. Synthesizing means blending the sounds and putting them together into a whole word. Spelling and reading are taught together. To spell, children learn to segment, which means separate. They segment words into their individual phonemes and understand how the sounds link to letters, called graphemes. Balanced literacy and whole language. Children with dyslexia do not learn to read by looking at words and guessing from a picture. Huh? They will not learn to read by sitting with an adult who is reading to them. <sighs> this approach is known as whole language. Sometimes a whole language curriculum will include some elements of phonics. This is known as balanced literacy. Balanced literacy is usually ineffective for children with dyslexia because the phonics element is too piecemeal and not delivered with enough intensity or explicit instruction. Oh. Summary For children with dyslexia, language is like a secret code. Using a science of reading approach gives these children the tools to unlock that code. And once the child fully understands how to use the code, they'll be on the path to becoming a competent, independent reader. Science of reading based instruction is essential for dyslexic children and any children who are struggling with literacy. <laughs>